Do your feet ache? Have you had problems with your feet? Are you currently having problems with your feet? Well, here's what your feet are trying to tell you. I'm going to give you some tips. They're going to help you get rid of the emotional issues and limiting beliefs that are feeding the energy of foot problems. I personally know this experience. I'm Carol Tuttle. I'm the best-selling author of 10 books, the creator of Energy Profiling, Dressing Your Truth, and the Carol Tuttle Healing Center. And for the last eight years, I've been healing my feet. And I knew early on that a big part of the healing process was not only to address the physical health of my feet, but to look at the underlying subconscious emotional beliefs, limiting beliefs and patterns that were actually making my feet susceptible to having problems. You're going to want to stay to the very end of this video because I'm going to take you through an actual clearing process that will help open and clear the energy so your physical feet can heal. The book that I highly recommend you turn to if you love what you're hearing in this video is my book, the 20th anniversary edition of Remembering Wholeness. It's profoundly life-changing. It's had so much support from my community and how much they love this book. It is personally one of my favorite books I've ever written. So let's talk about your feet. Think about what your feet do for you. In fact, share in a comment. What do your feet do for you on, in your physical world? They're not very big. I mean, even comparatively to the rest of your body for the job they do, they're actually quite small. They help you stand up. There's two things we're going to focus in on. They help you stand up. They, they bear the weight of the entire rest of your body and they help you move forward. You walk on your feet, you run on your feet, you pedal with your feet. Of course, you incorporate your legs and hips and that lower part of the body, but the feet where really take the brunt of a lot of weight and a lot of movement. Now let's first look at they help you stand up. What does that mean if you're having foot problems when it comes to the aspect of standing? There is likely, and please share in a comment if you identify with any of these, even more than one, nobody took a stand for you in your childhood. No one stood up. You, you know, you had one parent that might have bullied you, shamed you, even abused you, and the other parent didn't take a stand for you. Maybe you were put into situations in your social environment, educational experience, and then nobody took a stand for you. You grew up believing that you're not worth someone taking a stand for you. So that then turns into not taking a stand for yourself now. We use the phrase, you let people walk all over you. Or maybe because you want to be on the other side of that because you're afraid of being walked all over, you need to control relationships or situations so you don't get walked on. See, so here we're talking about indirectly feet, being walked all over, being a doormat. That's a popular phrase in the world of codependency, doormat doormats in the literal sense or where we wipe our feet so that you're being used to just let other people get the best of you. So where are you in that? If on a scale from one to five, five being I totally take a stand for myself and one being not at all, where would you rate yourself? Share that in the comment. And while you're at it, subscribe. That really helps this information get out there. People are looking for answers to heal their lives and I know we can help them with that. All right, let's move to the second aspect of what your feet do for you. They help you move forward. Did you have an environment in your childhood where you had to walk on eggshells? We use that term as well. What does that mean, walking on eggshells? You got to watch your every move. You have a fear that if you make a move, you might get into trouble. I grew up with both of these scenarios. A parent that did not take a stand for me in regards to the other parents' behavior towards me and uh, my siblings. And then you had to walk on eggshells. You had to be, don't make a move, you're gonna get into trouble. So then that moves in, translates now in your adult experience into fear of moving forward 
And both of these setups create foot pain because you've not addressed them. So you're storing the fear energy in your feet, the old energy that your feet have taken on for both of these issues. So who's ready to clear their feet issues? I'm gonna take you through this. Now you can either tap along with me, follow the tapping points that I'm moving through. These are your traditional face and torso points in the EFT model. I will not incorporate the hand points. We move right into the face and torso. Or if you prefer, you can just tap on your collarbone points, these K27 points, all your meridians move through these, it will give you a release. Or you can just listen and keep breathing. Your system will know to release and clear. So let's begin. Uncross your legs. If you're moving around listening to me, if you're doing something else, driving the car, doing a chore, go ahead and get in a still place where you can allow yourself to close your eyes and let your energy start to open and clear. Uncrossed legs, uncrossed arms. Go ahead and close your eyes and think of yourself in your childhood. What age comes to mind? Maybe a picture of a certain school year comes to mind. Think of yourself as a child. A 10 year old self comes to mind for me. And she's kind of like looking like, whoa, you know, things aren't, I gotta fend for myself. Nobody taking a stand and you gotta watch how you move around this family system. Don't make a wrong move. All right, now invite your child to receive this healing as though you were giving them a gift. Imagine a gift that you've wrapped and you say, I'm giving you this healing. You don't have to live in this fear, this trepidation, this hesitation, this uncertainty anymore. I want you to let it go and I'm gonna be the one healing it. Now, think of your feet. How do they feel right now? From one to five, from five being very uncomfortable to one being comfortable, where would you rate them? Mine would have been a five. I'd have to do a one to 10 scale eight years ago. They would have been a 10. Now they're about today, my feet feel two. One and a half, two. They feel really pretty good. I've done a lot of healing for my feet, both physically and structurally and emotionally and mentally what we're doing. <sighs> okay, deep breath in and exhale. Another deep inhale and exhale. You can even hold your feet, bend over and put your, touch your feet with your hands, pull one up, Cross your a foot onto a knee and hold your foot and repeat the following after me. I love you, feet. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Now while tapping, repeat at you. If you can repeat after me, if I'm moving too quickly, no worries. You're Consciousness is hearing it, your subconsciousness is hearing it, and things are shifting and clearing. Repeating, letting go, tapping on the inside of eyebrow, letting go of scared to move forward. I might get into trouble. Outside of eye, don't make a move or you will make someone mad. Let it go, under the eye. Letting go of no one stands up for me. Takes, no one takes care of me emotionally. Under your nose. No one there to protect me. And call out the injustices. Let it go. On the chin point, releasing, afraid to move forward now. Frozen in old energy patterns can't make a decision. It's safer to just say, stay right where I am. Collarbone points. I won't make a mistake if I stay right where I am. Letting this pattern go once and for all. Under the armpit, releasing, not able to take a stand on what I want in life. Giving in settling for less. 
not standing for what I want. On top of your head, going along with others, tired, aching from the indecision, sad because I always fall for some, sad because I always accept something less than what I want. Let it go. Releasing the old energy of scared, settling, failing, frozen, aching, burning anger showing up as aching and burning in my feet. Let it go. Release this old energy. You can even wipe your feet off. You could, you could tap your feet during all of this too if you want to replay it while tapping your feet. I'd even listen to it while you're walking and get the energy of your feet moving. With your hand on your heart, repeat after me. I forgive myself for letting this carry on for so long. I am ready to move forward and stand on my own with grace and ease. My feet feel amazing. Let's start tapping again. Inside our inside of eyebrow, I am strong. I am confident. Outside of eye, I'm standing in my truth. I'm standing up for what I want. Under eye, I'm easily moving forward with confidence. Under your nose, I am pain free and grateful for my happy feet. Chin, I am grateful for how great my feet feel. Collarbone. I love my feet and all they do for me. Under the armpit, I am free of all past patterns. I let go easily of old energy. My feet are free to be healthy now. Top of your head, I love my feet. I love my life. I am creating a joyful reality. Take a deep inhale and breathe all that in. And as you exhale, imagine that just settling into every cell in your entire being. Feel your feet. How do they feel now? If you were to rate your feet on a scale from one to five, are they feeling better? Mine are at a 0.5. They're happy, happy feet. Isn't there a movie called Happy Feet? Maybe you should watch that movie, Happy Feet. Oh, just anchor that in, tap on your feet, anchor that in. It may take more than one time. Again, walking while you're doing this, repeating this is going to support you when you're full attention, when your feet might be flaring up and aching. Really good time to bring this video clearing up and do it again. If you loved what we did here, please subscribe, hit that bell so you get notified and also go to healwithcarol.com. I have a free energy healing basics guide to teach you all about how this works to give you some more experiences for free. And when you sign up for the monthly membership, you get your first two weeks for free. Hundreds of clearing sessions like this that I've then built into two to four week healing plans, including two very popular courses are in the healing center. It's just a plethora of content that will change your life. Thanks for watching. How do your feet feel now? Keep believing that your feet can be well and they will create that with you.